I'm Kimberly and welcome back to Mendoza's Corner. We will spend five minutes each week discussing a topic related to the queer community. We'll define the topic, give you some cool facts about it, then provide some of our thoughts. This week's topic is homosexuality and animals. We'll be zooming in on my favorite, the pygmy chimpanzee or the bonobo. What is an animal? An animal is any living organism that feeds on organic matter, typically having specialized sense organs and a nervous system that's able to respond rapidly to stimuli. By far one of my favorite animals, bonobos, also known as pygmy chimpanzees, are one of our closest relatives that we sometimes study to get an understanding of what early humans may have been like. They have a seemingly matriarchal society where female groups maintain dominance over the males, in contrast to humans and chimps, and they use sex for almost any and everything. Hello, good to see you, goodbye. You're angry, I'm angry, and so forth and so on. Their social structure is as such. Bonobo females and their young form the core of the group, and the men follow the lead of the mature females. In order to win in bonobo society, you've got to be good with the bonobo female, because as mentioned above, they will form groups and dominate males, but they are also the key to being promoted on the dominant scale. Males and females of various ages use a variety of sexual behaviors to promote social bonding. Bonobos also will mate in a face-to-face -face position, seen in humans but rarely amongst chimps. It is no secret that sexuality isn't even a thought for bonobos. By the way, if this is your first time ever hearing of these animals, I'm glad I could introduce you. And you're welcome because the resources on how cool these guys are is substantial. They're famous for the large variety of sexual acts they perform, including female genito genital rubbing, fellatio, and manual masturbation across all genders. They are bisexual, which we think contributes to their strong group cohesion. A lack of the FOXP2 gene, which gives humans and gave Neanderthals the ability to speak, does not mean bonobos can't express how they want to have sex. Some have developed an extraordinary system of gestural communication that is used specifically during sex. Do remember, we share 98 to 99% of our DNA with them, so many of our body parts are the same. Those hands you use every day is exactly what they use as a sort of sign language to communicate what sexual positions they want. As a fun fact, to put the icing on top, is that it's puzzling behavior for animals in the wild to share, but bonobos will go out of their way to share food and will even help strangers acquire out of reach food. Their prosociality is in part driven by unselfish motivation. Okay. Are you interested yet? I know we didn't spend nearly enough time going into same-sex relations across the animal kingdom, but if you want to know more, just say so and we can grant your wish. I hope you did learn that same-sex relations are not uniquely human, nor is it an aberration for things like this to happen. I'd recommend checking out Biological Exuberance, Animal, Homosexuality, and Natural Diversity by Bruce Bagamill for an almost complete list of animals that practice homosexuality and how they do so. I'm not even gonna lie, I couldn't put this book down, and dolphins are wild, literally. Wow. We are always taking suggestions on topics for future episodes. Feel free to share with us a queer topic that you'd like for us to cover in five minutes or less. You can either comment or send us an email to info at Until next week.